20 seconds of time, and time interrupt. If you've never had durian or tried durian, let's go over a couple of pointers. Let me show you how they actually package durian for you to take home. Because if you don't know how to cut a durian correctly, you'll probably end up hurting yourself a whole lot. Here we go. Durian, the king of all fruits. Then why in the hell is it so hard to touch, find, get into, eat why does it smell so bad and please thank goodness we don't have this in america where kids can throw them at each other because this <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so we're walking down the street the other day and of course the locals here i'm in nakon patham and they have a durian place that sells it for 130 baht a kilo which is a good 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 price usually it's 150 or or more and as you can see, there's got a small little crowd here all day long. Every time we pass by it, there's at least a half a dozen people out there. So they're like, do you want some durian? I said, well, I don't want any, but if you guys want to uh, be my guest, go ahead. And so, yeah, we stop over. Now, durian has a season, but Thailand has the longest season of all the Singapore, Malaysia, out of all of the countries in Southeast Asia. Thailand has the longest, going from March to somewhere in December. But we're just in the brand new season uh, of durian, and so everyone's getting their durian on. You can see here they are, and they, by the way, they charge per kilo, but that's before it's cut. They don't do the net weight after the meat, if you want to call it meat, is taken out. The fruit is taken out of the shell. They, they charge you for the, the gross weight, not the net weight, which I thought was kind of um, unusual considering as this video goes on, you'll see how much waste is set to the side. But also at the end, you'll see, you'll, I'll show you, the, you'll see something that uh, I didn't expect either. All right, so what he's doing there is he's, he's hitting it to find out where he should cut. And yeah, okay, so there we go. And so Thai people, what they'll do here is cut a little window inside so that you can you can feel the density of it to see if it's too soft or too firm in this case I, I don't know which one it was but it was rejected she's like nope don't want that one so he's like all right let me get the stick and let me go <laughs> let me go find find one that this girl's gonna like and um I don't know the thumping of it. I don't know. It's like people do in uh, water with watermelons and cantaloupe. Uh, I've never been familiar with what you're listening for. If it's a, a low tone or a high tone or, or what. But he goes around. He gets one. He thinks that she likes. And that's what he's going to do again. He's going to uh, cut a little window open here and, and see if it's a... Uh, ideal for her now I did a little a uh, couple of researches on durian to find out I mean is it really good for you or bad for you or is it just it, and actually it's very very nutritious with a bunch of bunch of vitamins in it um, the only thing they say you shouldn't do is mix it with alcohol believe it or not they say that it has a property that will limit the breaking down of alcohol enzymes in your body which could make you feel sick uh, it didn't say make you more drunk. It'll just say it doesn't break down the alcohol. So one of the warnings is don't don't eat durian. Don't eat too much durian and drink alcohol. Might not be good for you. But on the plus side, all right. Now he's going for the second one. She's picked out the first. Hold on, I'll get back to the uh, nutritional stuff. And going for the second one. Yep, she's good. All right, two durian. Here we go. Now let's see what's going on here. I think. When he start, what's going on? Double checking. All right, two durian. Oh, as I was saying, there there's not scientific proof, but it has been tested and shows that it should help with heart disease, uh, help with preventing cancer. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff, but there's no a absolute evidence. There's no, there's no scientific studies that have proven that durian helps prevent cancer, helps with heart disease, and, and a few more things. Let me check out what, what was the other ones that it was 
saying that it was good for dun dun dun, dun. Uh, fights infection and lowers blood sugar. That's that's what we got. Lowers blood sugar, fights infection, prevents heart disease, reduces risk of cancer. So all in all, good. Okay, now I eat. Dur I can eat durian. I don't eat durian uh, by by nature. I don't eat durian because number one, it's just too damn expensive. Um, I asked my Thai friends why is it so expensive and they said basically it's because it takes five years for a plant to even produce. So farmers have got a lot of time and money spent, invested in, in producing this and with it being a seasonal product, uh, even though like I said in Thailand it's almost all year long, uh, it's, ve it's very expensive for what you get. Now you're going to watch him bag two takeaway bags of this durian and the, I'll tell you the price at the end of what you're going to see him cut. Now see how much waste is going to the side? I think it's really cool these guys know how to find the core and where to cut it and, and not those the, the shell of this is so sharp I mean you can see he's wearing one glove but uh, if you look closely, you can't see on this guy, but if you look at some of the guys doing this, that knuckle where they're holding the knife has always been cut up from scraping these uh, pointy uh, shells. Uh, whatever. Alright, so on this one, it's not much. It's not producing that much. And he's like, alright. So again, you're paying by the gross weight of the product not the net weight. What he's taken out and put in the, putting in the bag is not what gets weighed. And uh, I find that that's just, I thought they would do it the, you know, a different way, but no, that's the way they do it. Now, durian in most places in Thailand is banned. You can't take it into hotels. You can't take it into public transportation. Um, 2,000 baht fine, last I saw, if they catch you with it anywhere in an elevator or hotel and uh, let's see that piece was so small he just gave it to her he's like well there's no reason to put that in the bag now he's working on the the second one uh, so yeah there's fines if you get caught with it or you bring it into a hotel or a taxi cab or at the, I'm not sure about the well the BTS you're not allowed the SkyTrain you're not allowed to bring any food or drink on so that's that's a given but public places, hospitals, and everything—it'll bathroom signs will always say no, dur no durian. It's, it's really, it's really, really potent. The smell of it has been described as uh, like a sewage type smell or a stinky sock gym smell, with also um, aromas hinting of sweetness so I mean disgusting sweetness I mean there's, there's no way to describe the way this smells it's pungent but yeah it's edible but the problem is most people don't like the texture because it's like a custard so it's almost firm but then you bite into it and it kind of it's like a pudding custardy texture it, you can't chew the outside skin of it a little bit you can chew and the inside is mushy so <laughs> combined with the texture and combined with the smell and combined with the price I have opted out of it you can make it with soups you can freeze it you can do soups you can eat the seeds out of it now, okay right what he's doing right here before I forget the the second durian didn't produce a lot of meat inside so he just picked another one up and took this wedge out and just added it for good measure which I thought was really cool he could have been like nope you got these two and that's it but he didn't he went to the third one he got that big chunk out of it put it in the back takeaway there you go that's a thousand baht that she's given him and I'll tell you now that it took most of that thousand watt. It was 935, 935 or 931 baht for those two little bags of durian. 
And that was it, a little durian day adventure for you guys. And yeah, I know you guys wanna see me eat durian, but it's not gonna happen. Not unless we get some super chats and dares and PayPal's going on, cause I'm not doing it, it's too expensive. If you guys wanna pay for it and challenge me to do it, by all means, go ahead and do that. You can click on the membership button or the PayPal button or the Patreon button and double dog dare me to eat some durian and I'll do it for money. See you guys later, have a good week, bye. Oh. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody, goody. Don't forget that.